Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venture. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I've got one from Anderson Valley out in either Bonville or Boonville, California. Uh, this is the Blood Orange Gose. Orange ale. Um, so I picked this up at a pick six place that I like. It's uh, 4.2. Hey, interesting side note. I read on the can that they are a solid power brewery. Which nice. I think that's kind of nice. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. So this is a sour. Uh, that's what the gozas, gozes are. I like um, sours. My buddy sour. Robbie got me more into sours. Uh, which is funny. I found some old videos on an old phone that I thought I had uploaded, but I haven't. So I got to get those uploaded. I got Don't into feel. sours doing, volunteering at a beer event. Yeah. <laughs> it was the first goes I had had. It's pretty, pretty, pretty nifty. Okay. You got these cute little glasses. It smells like a goes Mm-hmm. That's, That's got kind of the salt. It's not overly sour. It's not. Um, okay, here's the weird thing about blood oranges. I liked blood oranges in stuff. Yeah. I had a chance to eat a blood orange. Don't do it. Yeah, they're nasty. They're, like, they're, they're supposed to be in stuff. Nasty. Um, but when you cook with them, yeah. or apparently brew with them, they're pretty great. But if you're just like, hey, I'm going to eat an orange. Well, here's a blood orange. They're gross. Um, they do make a good gizzay though. Yeah, that's it's. I'm 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 pretty good with this. Uh, I can see on here. I paid right around two bucks for this one in a single platform. Uh, you're always gonna pay more when you do singles, but that's not bad. I'm not upset. Uh, I look at it this way: What would I pay for that if I was in a bar setting? Right. Way more than two dollars. And this is way outside of the market. So yeah. I got it in Nashville. When it was in a world market. So <laughs> yeah. Um, I do have... It seems like I lately like the Gozas, Gozes, they have a little saltiness to them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting that. Uh, I'm getting all the citrus. That is very citrusy. Uh, I do get the little salty bit. Uh, yeah. Um... It has the right color for a blood orange. I, it has that kind of peachy. I'm okay with it. Mm. Um, I like it. Now, uh, with sours, I like a sour or two. I don't usually drink four or five sours in a row. I was just about to say, some of them are just so sour, you're like one and done. I could drink at least two or three of these. Yeah. They're not, they're um, not overpoweringly sour. I, I found a lot of times when I'm doing sours, like especially out in a bar, restaurant, uh, beer place setting, uh, I usually don't have the same one twice in a row. Yeah. I'll have like two or three sours uh, and I, I try different ones. Yeah. Um, one of the things I do is I drink the sour to slow me down. Uh, sours to me are kind of the sipper, the maintenance beer. Yeah. They're lower alcohol. I drink them slower. Yeah. Uh, I could say that. I like sours with food. I could see where this would be nice. Uh, grilled chicken. Mm. Uh, I could see some kind of um, rich pasta dishes. Yeah. Uh, this would be okay with. Uh, I'd almost say just about anything that citrus would go well with, this mm -hmm. would go work well with. Um, now, also, uh, most of the sours, like this one, you know, you're 4'2". Yeah. You're not, you're, you're enormous flavor, not enormous alcohol content, right. which can be really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, I am kind of digging the color. Mm -hmm. It's a very blood orangey color. This smells nice. Mm -hmm. Now I get these these little glasses for Christmas. Um, they're a little small, but I can just keep pouring into them. They're sample glasses. Now I do like the shape of them. They're fantastic for, for smelling. And the smell of this. 
Mm-hmm. It's lovely. Yes, it is. It is. Like, I would almost want to marinate chicken in this. That would probably be really good. I think it, I, I think it would be nice. Hmm. That would be really good. Or some fish. Yeah. I think we'd do a fish. Uh, overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. I am too. The vast like majority it. of the Anderson Valley stuff that I've had, I've I've liked. Um, it's just pretty hard for me to find. Uh, I pretty much only find them in Nashville. Mm -hmm. uh, when I go to Nashville, I find some stuff every now and then. Yeah. Um, I did find a few things in Anderson Valley the first time when I was down in, uh, when I lived in Daytona. But Daytona has stuff that nowhere else around you know we're daytona orlando you know we're vacation capitals so they have things mm -hmm. from different areas yeah because you know somebody's visiting from that area they want their beer uh super lucky to have tons of things from out of the area when i live there um not so much in a small town between Memphis and nashville but i'm the beer adventurer adventurer uh, you know, I like this. I like it too. I like it a lot. Um, I definitely have more of that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm completely okay with this. Uh, I like the beer with antlers. It's, it's just weird that, like I said before, I, I stayed away from so many blood orange things for so long because yeah. I ate a blood orange and it tastes like... <laughs> We've had some really good blood orange stuff. I, we have had some good blood orange stuff. Some blood orange shandies. Some, oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, some blood orange ciders. Yeah, that was way better than it should have been. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, I, I do have pretty good luck finding things about uh, Anderson Valley that I will put those down in the description. Um, see what I can find. Uh, you're going to also find all my social media, merch links, all that kind of stuff. Uh, down there in the in in the uh, in the comments. So, like, is there a blood orange beer that you guys like that maybe I need to hunt for? Uh, we can talk down there in the comments. I, I love that. Um, like I said, uh, throw me some ideas of things that you think I need to try. Just... Bear in mind, like I said, I, I'm 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 in Tennessee. Uh, I might not be able to find that that super regional New England uh, West Coast thing, um, but I do try to keep track of those things. So if I'm out, I might find it. Or if I got a buddy that's going out the direction, I'm be like, please bring me back X, Y, and Z. Right. Um, you know, if you're not having your friends hunt bear for you <laughs> and you're not hunting bear for your friends are y'all really friends <laughs> i mean really uh cue that's what friends are for song wow i'm, I'm not trying to get you monetized i'm not monetized um buy a sticker um so if you're enjoying the video hit subscribe you know i'm almost at a thousand subscribers i'm rapidly approaching 800 videos Hit the bell icon, you'll get alerted three times a week. Uh, me and my friends uh, drink beer, do things. It's beer culture. It's beer fun. Uh, come be a part of the group. We love it. Um, now, let's get down to brass tacks. Did you dig it? Mm -hmm. I did. Would you have another? Mm -hmm. I, I would like to. Mm -hmm. uh, I Actually, this was good enough that I would look for other Gozas or Gozes from Anderson Valley. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Now, um, does that have seekability? Uh, for it's for sure. For us, yeah. I mean, it's from California. I don't know how hard it's going to be for you to find, uh, but it's worth looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, pick six. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Um, you know, I would say if you're a fan of this style. Then do it. Because 
I'm kind of modifying that pig six thing because what I'm looking for now is most things to me are almost pig six worthy. Right. Okay. Unless unless we just try it and we're just like, this is hot garbage water. Now, my thing is, is like, is it six pack worthy? Is it, would I mind having two or three linger in the right. fridge for a while for the, the later beer? Right. Because I tend to buy a six pack and I drink two or three of them really soon. Mm-hmm. And then I have two or three that's kind of, and I'm like, oh, that's been in there for a week. Let me have that. Right. Um, that's what I'm looking at more and more lately. Mm-hmm. Would it go well with food? Actually, I think it will. We've already discussed that. Um, so let's get down one to ten. One's the lowest. Ten pints is the highest. I think for a guess it. I'm going to say seven. it's an eight. I think for it's a guess eight? it's an eight. Nice. I like it a lot. I mean, it's a not seven. over. It's it's sour, but it's not like oh my god, my face hurts sour, and I like that. Yeah. I can drink more of them that way. I like those, oh my God, my face hurts sour sometimes, but I only drink maybe one of those. This is more drinkable. So I give it a I see what you're saying. I mean, I'm at, I'm at a I'm at a really high seven. What would it need to be an eight? I, I really, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm super comfortable with it at a seven and I'm very happy I got it. Um, good enough that, like I said, I'm going to see what other gozes they have. Um, so far I've been really happy with Henderson Valley. It's good. Yeah. I like it. Well, there you have it, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers.